Yep. Kind of bored heading back from Milton. Uh, figured I'd say, like, my employment history, I think I said I'd talk about that. Um, but basically, my first job was at the West Wind Solano Drive-Ins in Concord. I was, like, the cashier person. And it was sketchy. I mean, it was in on off Solano in Concord, you know. Uh, one of my most memorable things from that is, like, this little kid had this fucking laser pointer and was pointing it at my chest. And it being Concord, I thought it was a gun, so I, like, ducked down and shit, you know. And then uh, it got hella busy. Um, and this, and like the manager gave the cash register I was using like an extra hundred bucks and she didn't write it down. I was like, you know, you need to write it down. And then her boss said like, oh, there was an extra hundred bucks in there somehow. So she must've been, you know, meaning me, you know, I must've been like hiding money away to take it. But I was like, you know, they present to me as if someone had taken a hundred bucks, but there was an extra hundred bucks. And I was like, yeah, well just go ask what's her fucking face. I think her name was Aaron or whatever. And, you know, she put an extra hundred bucks and it was hella busy, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that was around the time, like, the visit was out and, like, Hotel Transylvania too, and all that shit. You know, so I had that for a couple months. And then, uh, uh, my mother-in-law wasn't doing well around, like, Halloween time or something like that. And we, I ended up taking a lot of time off and coming up here to Copper to kind of, you know, me and my wife, you know, spend time with her. I remember around that time, my one kitten that we had saved from, like, up the street. The, the cat would constantly have kittens, and they constantly be dead in the road. So I went and kind of got one of them, and he was a really great cat, monkey boy, or whatever. Um, he loved everything. You know, he'd literally climb your pants and give you a hug. You know, he'd jump on you from anywhere. He was a great cat, but I guess he had, like, like the feline leukemia, or he was, like, septic, sep, had the septic, or sep, whatever, whatever you call it, where you get, like, yellow, like, jaundice, or whatever. So that sucked, so he died around that time as well, so that's very memorable for me. And my second job was at McDonald's, and I worked there for a while, then Sierra started working there, because she worked at McDonald's originally, you know, then kind of quit, and blah, blah, blah. So I worked at McDonald's with her for quite some time. Um, you know, we'd either have similar shifts or whatever. Um, and then I started working at McCabe, uh, Fine Builders Construction. And, uh, I was there for about two weeks. Maybe not, maybe a little bit longer before my grandma died. And so I had to move. Um, I came up here and I'm thinking that's when I got the job at Jack in the Box and, uh, and then I got a job at Chicken Ranch, so I'd have, like, two jobs. And then I couldn't stand the smoke at Chicken Ranch because it was a casino. And, like, the fucking, like, they, everyone smokes inside mainly. My job was, like, emptying ashtrays. And I have a, a good touch of asthma. And I'm just like, I can't do this. And plus, I came home smelling like I smoked 12 packs a day. So I was like, no, this is not the job for me. Or whatever. Uh, I said that for me, maybe a week. More like three days. And then I was just like, fuck this shit. And then I went over to Black Oak, uh, and I was a heavy-duty cleaner, so I was doing a lot of, like, pressure washing, cleaning the kitchen, sweeping, mopping, blah, 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 you know. And that was fun, honestly, for the most part. I just kind of had headphones, listened to music, and cleaned and shit. It wasn't, wasn't terrible. Um, yay, my car's overheating. Uh, and then, I'm trying to think. Then I got, then what happened? Then I got Inheritance, and then we moved back or whatever to the Bay Area and I was honestly just living off inheritance and blowing a bunch of money. We blew like a quarter of a million dollars and uh, that's 250 grand for people that are retarded. Um, you know, uh, who's the retarded one really though I guess. And long story short with all that I worked for McCabe again just to kind of make extra money and like keep my time and then sometime around when Jack was born which is my wife's sister's son or whatever um, I think it was like March or so. I was like, oh, well, you know, I couldn't go because she, you know, she had one of the four cars and I made up some bullshit. And so he kind of fired me from that. So whatever. And then, uh, but she, my wife had already sent me this thing that she saw this one chick on Facebook was doing was the iron workers or whatever. And they had a program. So long story short, we tried to move to Texas. That didn't work out. I came back just in time with the letter you know, to join the iron workers and do their pre-apprenticeship program. So I did that, you know, and that was, that was a fucking whole interesting thing in itself. I have one, you know, a whole video on that. It was just like a weird, it was a weird program because like all the chicks in there, like myself, were like hella gay and they all had girlfriends, but they were all like sleeping with each other because they were all from like different states. 
and I was just like, I was so shy, and I wasn't talking to fucking anybody, you know, I was just doing my shit, welding, I was talking to, like, the older people and shit, uh, you know, like, the older ladies and stuff, and yeah, just doing, doing the rod buster bullshit, and then I was an iron worker for, like, basically a year, uh, maybe a little more, give or take, at a local 378, uh, you know, just kind of worked all over the Bay Area, if I didn't have work, you know, I'd go to the hall, and they dispatched me somewhere else. That's how I got my famous carpal tunnel, you know? And, uh, I mean, I, lo I loved that job, but it didn't pay enough. It was only, like, eighteen seventy-five. You know, I know journeyman make, like, 35 an hour, but I was already making, like, 39 as a fourth-period apprentice, you know, uh, as, as a carpenter. But basically, you know, the whole story of, like, I heard, you know, carpenters make more, so I went to the porter party and called the carpenters union and signed up because I had the, all the qualifications since I was already an iron worker. I had the the six months of construction, blah, 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 basic hand tool bullshit, so I switched to the carpenters union, started making like 29 something an hour, then I was working at nights and at Kaiser, so I was making like 32 an hour, um, and up their pay goes up all the fucking time, uh, in the carpenter shit, plus as you go through classes and stuff, so I'm, I'm halfway through, and I actually just emailed them and called them today, and I'm trying to get back in the union because, I need medical, you know, because they give you the medical, or my wife mainly does, and I need a steady job, and I, I miss being a carpenter so bad, like, I'm going to move all my landscaping stuff to Saturday and Sunday, you know, and uh, as I try to figure out the whole school thing and work, but the list is pretty short, I just want to go back to where I was and try to find work, like, I miss being a carpenter, I hate the fucking union and it sucks asshole, but I miss it, so I, you know, bounced around throughout the carpenter shit, and we lived in Pleasant Hill, you know, uh, cause we go, we got our own place cause I had like two letters from employers I, I didn't work for and never ended up working for. Uh, and I literally got fired from Kaiser as soon as like the, like a couple days or whatever, or a week after we finally got all our shit moved in. And then that's when I finally found my love of unemployment <laughs> or whatever money, you know, and, uh, like, the bouncing around and going to jobs, so I bounced around between job and job, because they kind of didn't really need me, but I bugged people enough, and, you know, I called the list so much, people knew my phone number, like, hi, Courtney, still no work, you know, blah, 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 you know, but while that was happening, I'm trying to think of the first, second job I had, I know I worked for, like, two carpenters, fucking shit, that's how I got, like, a lot of hours, I don't even know where my book is, which actually, that's gonna, might be a problem, I have to have them send me a new book, um, because I have no fucking, I think I threw it out, to be honest, so I might lose a couple hours, but I mean, it is what it is at this point, um, yeah, because I wasn't working, like, that much, I think I had, like, 2,500 hours or something, we'll see, I guess, that was, that's something interesting to think about, um, but, yeah, so I was working, like, another, um, carpenter job at night, I know then I worked for like Dave and Busters, I worked for Urban Plates, you know, I worked for like a bunch of different fast food things, you know, Chili's, I did the Instacart shit, I did DoorDash, you know, I did a bunch of stuff like that, you know, I worked for multiple construction companies all during that time, there was a lot of time off, you know, I mainly liked working with Myers and like, like the concrete kind of shit because I still had like the iron worker, you know, like we still tie rebar and do all the hard bullshit, you know, and like pile driving and shit like that. Like, I love that, you know, so that was fun. And then, uh, basically this past February, it kind of all got fucked up and, uh, had to do, you know, got the whole business for ourselves, like landscaping shit you know, and cleaning business, and that kind of works, you know, made a lot of money at first, but, uh, now I'm not really making shit, I'm not making any money, I make less in a month than I would make in a week, in a bad week, or whatever, working carpentry, so, you know, that's why I'm going back for sure, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of my, my employment history, it's like a lot of construction, a lot of fast food night jobs, and a lot of bullshit, like, filling in the blanks, and, like, right now, I do a lot of odd jobs, and it's like, you know, I'll put it in a mailbox, I'll fix a fence, I'll weed whack, I'll mow your lawn, you know, I'll help you build shit, you know, pressure wash, whatever, you know, house cleaning, floor cleaning, whatever, you know, so I feel like I'm like the jack of all trades, but master of none, you know, uh, so my real thing I really wanted to do when I was a little kid, you know, was be a musician, but that never worked out. 
so like I got a drum kit from the neighbor but my wife didn't like it because it was too loud so I, I had to take it down plus our girl the garage is like now just a storage because our storage got broken into so that's awesome you know so like yeah and my wife's supposed to be buying me a violin for Christmas so I guess I'll she just she said violins are pretty so let's see how pretty she thinks it is when I play it a million times a day because I used to play a violin like a long time ago as my cousins and I was fucking around with it you know I played with a pick too because his little bow thing was broken so I was like whatever you know I was like it's really cool it's like a deep purple one I hope she actually gets it you know we'll see if I'm good you know but yeah, so now I guess my my next thing is to be like, hopefully going back to the Carpenters. That's my employment history. What's yours? By the way, I probably worked for like at least 40 separate companies, like all together, between carpentry and all the night jobs and all the other bullshit. Yeah. What's your number? That's why my resume looks so impressive and so diverse. Like, you know, I'm even overqualified because like all my certifications and qualifications whether it be from like the iron workers, like, you know, like my Twit cards and my Firewatch and my safety and my OSHA and the this and this and that and blah, 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 you know, just like, yeah. Fucking life is interesting, isn't it?